Hi guys, I'm playing War Robots on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I'm using a DualSense controller to play the game. I'm recording this with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the, the Samsung is actually sitting on a Bluetooth gamepad. It's got glowing buttons. That gamepad is called the DS um, dash, uh, no, no, BS dash D3. It's a Bluetooth gamepad. I'm not using it right now. It's just sitting there. And then in the background, that's my Steam Deck. Right, so I've tried my best to put light on this, but I, I don't know how to actually, how to achieve that. It's, um, it's just proving a little bit difficult. I'll, I'll try my best to put lights here, so at least you guys can see. You see, that, that is a gamepad. It's got, it's, got, um, it's got thumbsticks on it. You see, it's not just uh, glowing buttons and stuff. In the background is, um, you see, that's a Steam Deck. I'm just showing you, that's a Steam Deck in the background. Right, um, so uh, I was still in this because I, I just wanna, I just wanna uh, change, I need to change one of the skills here. It's the last skill. Like I said to you guys, do not leave skills that are not matching with your pilot and the robot. So it says, after capturing a beacon, Ochi Kochi increases its movement speed for 30 seconds. All right, so after you capture a beacon, uh, Ochi Kochi will have increased, um, uh, speed uh, for 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other good thing is this pilot that I'm using is called 7 and she actually uh, gives 25% uh, uh, durability back to Ochi Kochi. Right. So this is Dagon level 9 and Dagon is having uh, Skulls. Skulls is a mixture between a, a flamethrower and a grenade launcher weapon. I know it sounds kind of weird because fire with grenades kind of doesn't make sense, but it's it's a it's an it's a hybrid weapon. So these are skulls. I've got six of these. These are light weapons. The Dagon can carry six light weapons. The modules on this is two repair amplifiers and one armor kit uh, with a repair unit. So that means this Dagon can heal uh, pretty fast with the repair amplifiers. This is a wasp, and a wasp. I'm just going to read what this does. The drone can deal high damage at long range. The drone fires independently. By the, of the robot so this drone does not need the robot to attack another robot so basically it's independent that means that even if you are not firing at a robot right let's say you don't have bullets or you're still reloading your weapons this drone the wasp will attack the the robot that is attacking you or the titan that's attacking you so it doesn't need you to be firing at the same time so if you're reloading your weapon and you're trying to escape from that draw robot or that titan that's attacking you, your drone will be actively attacking that robot and that titan. So it's quite a good uh, drone to have, right? So this is uh, this dude is called Nathan Fleming. is a is a legendary pilot for Dagon, and um, Nate, it's, uh, his his ability is called Nathan Support. While its ability is active, Dagon gets an additional twenty five percent of shield durability what is okay 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 i know that shield thing you know that shield thing that you press on it gets 25 uh, percent durability that's quite interesting <coughs> this is opium opium has got two ivory scratch those are like uh, energy weapons as well they're very good and uh this one is a sinister pulsar that's a lockdown weapon and this opium is a mk2 it's a level one so that means it's upgraded from uh, level zero or I think they all started level one all the way up to level 12. Then it goes MK2. And then if you go all the way again to level 12, you go to MK3. So mine's an MK2. It's uh, upgraded. It's got three armor kits, uh, one repair unit. Uh, this drone, I know nothing about. So let's see what this drone does. It says on mild damage fix. Uh, if the robot receives more than 70,000 damage within five seconds, repairs a portion of its durability immediately. Right, so it, it gets a portion of your durability back, but it's just a portion, so you're not going to get all your uh, durability, like your life back, uh, basically. This uh, legendary pilot is called Trixie Hope. She supports any robot. She's not meant for any one robot, just like... Um, uh, Manny, you know, like that other pilot. So she's called Trixie Hope. Uh, it says Trixie's endorsement. That's her ability. It says thanks to the Trixie's little assistant, 
the count the cooldown of the repair units and the advanced repair unit is reduced by seven seconds right so she supports uh the drone that that heals uh your robot and uh basically if you got a healing robot the uh, then your your healing will be less you know like uh, slightly less depending on how many repair units uh repair amplifiers you have you understand so not just this repair unit you need those amplifiers as well and i think those amplifiers were with this one you see here so let's say for example i give this dude uh, i just want to give you an example so if i gave him that one right he still has one amplifier so it's not the end of the world and then i give this dude a repair amplifier for example now you should be supported by this one but it also requires the drone i don't have the drone at the moment i think that drone is called reviver and i'm sure that the drone that i'm using for for that one is loki and i don't want to remove loki at the moment because if i do then loki cannot heal and loki can't heal by itself anyway you need this drone this one here reviver if you get this drone with that pilot your healing and the repair amplifiers and you use the repair unit your healing will be much less you know like it's much faster so you need this uh drone with that pilot reviver so that's what they're saying with without the drone you're still going to get seven percent uh healing but then when you have the drone it's gonna be like times two you understand it's gonna be more so it's gonna be much faster healing so that's what they're saying there. that's why they're saying um, as long as you have you see because it says you get healing and if you have obviously the drone then you get more healing so i just want to put the repair amplifier on the top uh it's just my thing because i think like if it's on the bottom it's gonna i mean it's a dagon's a good robot i don't think my dagon's gonna suffer any damage let's go to the titan this is an ox minus uh this is not the pilot obviously this is um this is jude price she's a legendary pilot for newton this ox minus is level 11. Vajras uh alien shot uh, shotgun weapons uh you you understand what i mean they like a shotgun how a shotgun shoots but these are like bubbles so i call it an alien shotgun weapon Folger is an energy weapon all of these weapons are level one uh it's got a singular reactor that's a basic reactor that's level uh five uh antimatter reactor that's uh a level above the singular reactor that's level two and then it's got two uh titan army kits both level five so it's not bad uh, it's not it's not good either but i mean it's it's what you can do if you don't have modules isn't it just have to make the best of it right this is a skydiver nightingale mk2 level one uh it's got two fainters uh both level threes those are lockdown weapons it's got a trickster weapon this causes um i think a trickster causes dot damage uh like decay and then it's got three armor kits it's got a quantum sensor like like i said before quantum sensor is for um Quantum sensors for those robots that go into stealth, you know, normally you can't target them when they're in stealth and then when they come out of stealth then you can, like Lynx, what Lynx does, Imiji, uh, Loki, you know, uh, Nightingale, when, when Nightingale's up in the air you can't target it. So that's what the quantum sensor allows you to do, allows you to target those robots. Uh, Beak is a stealth uh, drone, so once Beak is active it puts you in stealth, so like you can hide when you're on the ground. Uh, but for a few seconds, uh, this one, uh, legendary pilot called Virginia Walker, uh, ability is called Virginia's Mercy, Nightingale's ability recharges faster, right, by 20%. So I'm guessing once you're up in the air, you'll be able to heal much quicker. This one is an Angler MK2, it's got Stellar Halos, three of them, those are lockdown weapons. Uh, Stellar Hornet, that's a dot damage weapon. Uh, uh, Modules are at three armor kits, level ones, and a repair unit. Uh, let me see, it's same paint. Well, I don't have, I can't change the skin. Right, this um, drone, I remember something about damage and then it increases your uh, your um, defense uh, or your durability by 35% when you fall under a certain amount. Uh, this pilot, right, so this pilot, it says right the wave, increases the the fire rate of equipped weapons with shotgun like uh, mechanics right i need to change one of these uh skills like i said don't have skills in here 
that are not supported by um, by your uh, your robot. I mean, by your pilot for the robot. So I need to swap this um, skill. And uh, the skill that I've got now is Angler has increased durability. So that's good. Make sure these are highlighted. Don't don't um, leave them all the time to be bad. I used to do that in the past. Don't do that with your robots or with your pilots. Because it's a disadvantage to your robot, obviously, makes your robot weaker in, in battles. Right, this is a Techno Scorpion level 10. Uh, the same thing that drone helps with your durability or with your life. It increases your life when it falls down to a certain state. Libris and Kifas, these are grenade launching uh, weapons. Modules 3 armor kits level 1, repair a unit, which is uh, just a basic one. This is a legendary pilot for scorpion his name is ashgard ash uh s-k-a-r-s-g-a-r-d and his ability is called ash stealth after activating the ability scorpions uh scorpion becomes invisible to enemy targeting system for five seconds okay so basically when you teleport he, he goes into stuff so that's quite cool that means they can't actually target you when you're shooting at them at the back Right, so this is another Angler MK2. This Angler's got a splinter. Um, let me see what a splinter does. Okay, it's a slowdown. Okay, it slows down the enemy. Sailor Halo is a lockdown weapon. And then Unknown Splinter uh, is a slowdown weapon. Yeah, it's just an unknown one. This Terracor Hell is a... Um, let me see what is said. It says, an incredible powerful weapon uh, that that uh, damages enemies with a negative energy flow after a certain number of hits the target freezes its uh, movement speed is lowered and incoming damage is increased ah okay i used to think it was a freeze weapon but uh, it's all good right um i don't know much about this drone let's read what this drone does uh it says if the robot receives over seventy thousand damage Within five seconds, activates end cell. Okay, so that's like an energy shield. That's interesting. Uh, let me see. I want to see the damage. How much damage do you need to receive? Uh, seventy thousand damage. I don't know what seventy thousand is. Is that is that a lot? <laughs> so basically, you get a, a shield around your energy shield around your robot if it's suffering too much damage. Right. This dude. Um. This is uh, Eddie Noll. Uh, ride the wave increases the fire rate of all equipped weapons with shotgun like mechanics right i need to change the skill only do this if you got memorium yeah so i'm doing this because i've got memorium if you don't have memorium uh just build up your memorium and then you can do all this it says dodger angler all active modules on angler recharge faster right so what is memorium uh, memorium is that stuff up there it's not easy to get. You need to buy it most of the time. Why am I doing this? Because I don't want to have any skill that my pilot has in the game on my robot that will negatively impact what I can do. So this got three army kits repair unit. Uh, this one is Gothic Mouse. Uh, this is the one that's got that turret thing. You know, the one on the top that it throws down. Uh, this has got two fainters. One is a Gothic fainter. And then it's got Ardent Yeji. That's a laser weapon. Then it's got three armor kits, level one, and repair units. Uh, this is also level nine. This uh, robot does give your robot uh, life or durability at a certain level, you know. And then this pilot is a legendary pilot, Captain Clyde. And he says his ability is called Pirate Savvy. Greatly increases the damage and the, the fire rate of Mars turret, right? It uh, increases the damage rate of your turret. That thing that you drop down on the ground when Mars drops it down. This Titan's called Rook, and uh, he's got a Veron. Veron is the same thing like Vajra. It's a shotgun weapon, alien weapon. I just call it that. It's got two Fogos. Those are energy weapons. It's got two onslaught reactors. They're both level ones, but they're still good. I mean, be better than the regular, regular, regular anti, -re uh, regular. Reactors and the antimatter reactors. Sorry, I can't say it properly. Um, two Titan armor kits, level five. It's not too bad. It's, it's not the best, but it's not too bad. Right, this one is. Um, so this is a Rook uh, Titan uh, pilot. Wow. Okay, Nessie Riggs Rook. It says uh, Mercenary Veil. 
that's her ability the time between explosion of rook's shield is in shield replacement uh, secondary ability and teleportation of new physical shield is reduced by two seconds right so it's not a big deal but it's like when uh, rook's um, shield because you know rook can break off its shield in the game and uh, when rook breaks off its shield it means that uh, rook will get like um it it uh, that that breaking off the shield and getting the shield back onto itself is reduced that's basically all she, uh, ability does right in this uh in the fifth and last anger that i've got they've got uh, crises these are not the only robots i have but i've i've had to go into all my robots to see which ones i want i've got images i've got revenants i've got ravanas i've got needers you know i've got so many other robots but these are the ones that i think i prefer because i want to have for every hanger there has to be a reason why i've got robots in there right so this is the only hanger that's got crisis there these are just crisis robots i've got behemoth i can add a behemoth if i want to because that one's got um, the answer which is like the force field that's added onto the energy shield but i i kind of thought let me just have crisis only why because i've never used the crisis uh robots as much and i felt like let me have a hanger that's only for sniping you know so that's why there's five crises in here i could easily have put links um images in here um revenants like i said i've got them i've got harpies i've got sirens i've got lots of robots but i just don't use them i don't have time to use all of them so i thought let me just use the crisis the first crisis got four prismas the all level ones except for two sorry two are uh, level one the other two uh, stellar prismas are level fours these are laser weapons that deal damage of 1100 meters uh the modules on this are three armor kits and one repair unit this one does have the reviver you know one thing let me swap this out no seriously because he doesn't need the reviver this is manny this dude supports any robot so his uh his ability manny's tactics is the robot receives a damage bonus the robot also gets bonus damage uh, for every 10% durability for its losses, right? So it's about damage dealt and anything that he loses gets 10% back. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I want to do something really quickly. I know this is not part of what I'm doing, but I want to find that robot that I was trying to he, um, get to last time. Right, so this pilot needs this uh, drone. That's why I, I took it from that robot. So that's the drone I was talking about. Now she's with this uh, drone. You see, it says Trixie's hope, Trixie's endorsement. Thanks to uh, Trixie's little assistant, the cooldown of the repair unit and the advanced repair unit is reduced by seven seconds. So I don't know if she needed the drone, but I, I just put it there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I just uh, put that drone there and I put her there. So, I mean, they both got repair units. Because I did take a repair unit you know, from this one and I put it onto this opium. This opium is also an MK2 and this opium is a level 10. Right, let me go back to the fifth hanger, guys. I uh, got a bit distracted there. Uh, so, this, um, this robot is a sniper robot. Uh, those lasers do a lot of damage. This one is a uh, crisis, it's level 9. It's also got a reviver. I don't know why these have these good um, drones. No, I'm serious, because they, they shouldn't be here. No, I'm serious, they shouldn't be with these uh, pilots. I think I did this because obviously I wanted them to heal faster, isn't it? So this got two Retro Reapers, those two uh, sniper weapons. They deal damage of 1,100 meters. These are Wangis, these are laser weapons, the level two. These also deal damage of 1,100 meters. So these are laser weapons. Uh, modules on this, three armor kits and uh, repair units. Uh, the drone on this one just uh, helps with durability and life stuff like that if it drops a certain level This is crisis. We already know this pilot supports uh, healing uh, This uh, drone. I think this drone is about Says the robot receives this defense points for each capture of the beacon. So I think this robot has something to do with um, Well, it says sorry. Let me read that again says a robot receives defense points for each capture of the beacon. Defense points. 
I don't know what that is. I, it's, it seems like to me it's just like maybe your, um, your, your, if you have a shield, your shield is increased or something. It's got three armor kits, all level one, and a repair unit. You know, the thing is, I, I just, I just don't feel like these robots need these drones, you know? I, I'm sorry to say that, but I don't feel like they need them. I think these drones should be use, more useful somewhere else. So I'm going to give them basic drones. Let me just be quick with this. Yeah, they don't need these, these drones because these drones, I'm just being honest, they, 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 they need to be somewhere else. I'm going to try and give, um, okay, I've got these other drones. Are these mine? Oh, I have to buy them. Okay, so I can buy this. No, I don't want this one. Let me get this one because this dude uh, has something to do with, um, says when the robot's durability falls below 35%, increases the power of the robot's defense system so i think that's like your shield gets um is increased i i i know it sounds like i'm doing this on purpose but i'm not i just don't feel these robots need these um these uh drones because i mean <laughs> the amount of time i'm gonna be using these drones is not a lot uh let me see i don't think these these all have drones on them i know it seems like but the crisis you know crisis is not a good uh, strong robot I get that, but um, I don't know. I just I just don't feel like they need they need this particularly this type of drones uh, because they're not gonna live long in the game. You know, I know I, I sound I sound negative, but I'm I'm just saying the truth. They they're not gonna last long in the game. I don't want to put this one. I want I want to put something else. Let's see, what do I have in here? I got two of these and that. What does this drone do? It says on capture of a beacon. Okay, the robot receives defense points for each capture of the beacon. Right, whatever that is. Right, so I'm gonna decide. 